This right here is my aircraft that we ended up building last time that has a door on the side. How cool is that? Although, a few of you guys did mention that instead of adding a door on the side, what we could have done is just turn these seats sideways and it would have been okay anyway. And to be honest, I am going to do that. We're going to twist these seats so that they are back to the windows uh, and that should work out really nicely. It doesn't mean that we have to get rid of the opening door on the side, however, I do feel like it's probably a good idea to get rid of it. I don't know. Anyway, let's get straight to it. There are lots of enemies in Stoneworks, from Navy ships to helicopters armed with rockets and even some tanks. It is our goal to eradicate those enemies from the world. Welcome to Stoneworks Search and Destroy. Okay, so go to the inside, go ahead and delete all of these pieces. I might as well do it on both sides, to be fair. And I'm actually going to go ahead and destroy all of the seats as well, every single bit of this, and we'll redeploy them in a way that we see fit. I don't know what this is for, it seems like it's for the doors. Let's go ahead and move those guys uh, a little bit further backwards, they can stay in, that's fine. Um, and hopefully that'll be okay. So merge these guys in like this, that's awesome. We're then gonna go ahead and try and add the seats across the bottom. I don't know how that's gonna go though. I don't know whether we should just get rid of these doors on the sides, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, go to seats, there we go. Grab it in a brown color, shove it onto there. One, two, three, four, five, excellent. That's 10 seats all together. Let's go ahead and spawn it in and see what that's like. Okay, the weight system in this is not great, but that's fine. So if we open this up, we can get in ah! inside. We can walk straight through the aircraft to the back and we can walk to the front as well. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Sure. Alright, so there we go. I added a little bit of weight, and now it is sat there, all nice and ready to go. With that being said, I am now going to go back and go to sleep, and we'll see if we can wake up in the morning and uh, see if there are any missions that we can do with it. That would be awesome. Alright guys, there is a call from the Raptor Lighthouse, which, uh, as you guys know, is down here. We're gonna try and land our aircraft that we've got right here down there somewhere, and if there are people to rescue, we'll try and rescue them. Hopefully this will work out. Essentially, all we're doing in this series right now is trying to make enough money so that we can actually get our big ships out uh, and sail those towards the enemies to, I guess, fight the enemies? <laughs> um... Wait, what's going on here? Oh. Oh. What is going on? I feel like I know what's going on. One second. No, that's a light. Where is our fuel? It's down here, isn't it? That's not fuel. Where's our fuel? Wait, where is our fuel? Is that it? Fresh water. Yeah, clearly the engine won't start on fresh water. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and spawn it in again, and hopefully we do have diesel for this. It still spawns in like this as well, but that's fine. It is actually weighted further forwards than, than you'd think, but that's okay. Right, so go ahead and turn on the engine, turn on some lights, throttle up, turn the brakes off, let's go! Alright, if we can get into the air quickly, that would be great. Nice! Okay, let's fly to the lighthouse and see if we can rescue people. Oh, I still need to sort out that. Yikes. It's been a little while since I've actually been in this uh, playthrough, so <laughs> I haven't actually been in the save at all. Uh, and clearly, there are some things that are still not great about our aircraft. For example, uh, this. Flopping about in the wind. Not good. Alright, so, the weather has got a hell of a lot worse, but that's not necessarily an issue. As long as we can still see some sort of landing spot, we'll go ahead and put it down there. This aircraft, though, is a bit of an issue. <laughs> um, it seems that as soon as you stop applying power to it, it wants to just fall out of the sky. And clearly that's not great. Oh, we almost landed. I'm gonna land it down here, that's fine. There we go. Right, stop. Stop quickly, otherwise we will fall off a cliff. Oh my! Power up, power up! Holy balls! <laughs> that was close. That was so close. Alright, I've wiped the brakes on. Uh, we've left it here. That is fine. I'm opening up the doors. I'm going to go ahead and open up the side doors as well, because that's pretty fun. And then I'm going to run, extinguish all the fires, and if there is anybody there that needs rescuing, we will do some rescuing. Alright, come on, let's go. 
You can't get out the sides. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> it's very annoying, actually. Right, let's go. Oh, of course, there is some sort of uh, some sort of massive uh, issue coming in. Probably a tsunami, but who cares? Not me. I'm just here putting out a lighthouse, and then I'm gonna leave because I don't think there are actually any casualties here. Which is interesting because you'd expect there to be one at least. But there you go, mission complete. We just gotta leave now. What was that? Oh, oh! It was a meteor strike instead of a tsunami. Yikes, did that hit the island? Because if it did, I don't think there's going to be a tsunami. Or a rogue wave. I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm just going to go to sleep. Who cares about that? Alright, so I've decided, instead of uh, sleeping through a bunch of nights until we get a mission that we can actually do, we are just going to close the doors on our plane. We're going to fly back home, and then we're actually going to fly uh, out to the Isle of Donk. Yes. Main reason for that is because... Whoa. I don't know what just happened there. Uh, yeah, the main reason for that is because we are going to be starting to... I was going to say build a land vehicle, but actually, we already have one. I might take out our scout car and drive it from the Isle of Donk, so this bit right here, out to here, <laughs> the chemical storage, uh, and try and capture it. I think that'll be a fun idea, so let's fly out back home. We're going to get our seaplane that is going to be able to fly from our base up to the Isle of Dunk. We're then going to store the seaplane in here. We're then going to... Oh, we're going to have to purchase this. That's fine, actually. That's probably okay. Um, and then we're going to go from there in a car. We're going to drive over to here and just destroy everything. It'll be fine. All right, we're back home. Uh, once we land, we're going to go ahead and fly straight back out, pretty much. So let's just go ahead and park it in here. All right, return it to the workbench. Very nice. We're then going to run down to the shore, obviously. And we're going to pick up our water plane. We're then going to fly out there and get our scout car and do some damage. All right, we're back in the seaplane from a while ago. It is not the same seaplane that uh, we made previously. So the previous plane that I was just flying is a version of the seaplane that we had, if that makes sense. Um, but no, I figured this one makes a lot more sense. There's only me having to fly out here. It won't take us very long. Uh, it's obviously battery powered instead of diesel powered, and uh, we'll be there in no time. So, we're going to fly down there. I actually thought that we'd already bought this area, but apparently not. So, we'll just go ahead and park ourselves up in here. We'll then purchase it. We'll retrieve this plane from the dock, which will give us a little bit more money. And then hopefully we can use our scout car to destroy the enemy. Although, I don't know how much our scout car actually costs. So, we'll see if we can even spawn that in. Alright, we're coming in for a, uh, a landing. The thing is, there is also a uh, siren going off. So, I'm not entirely sure what that's all about. But, let's just go ahead and land right here. There we go. Excellent. That's actually the perfect place for it. Just stop, please. Alright, it's sinking. I need to just get out of here without dying. <laughs> and go purchase this, uh, this harbor. Okay, so there is actually a big wave coming in. I am going to be able to purchase this before it gets here, but I don't know. All right, we've only got 35,000 left. I was going to say, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to the plane in time. However, oh yeah, it's just going to land right there, I think. Oh, I'm getting dragged away. This is not great. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, we can actually just push the plane back into the water. This is fine. There it goes. All right, and if we press this, I would assume... No. Really? It's like right there. How is that not in the workbench area? It's clearly in the workbench area. Please, come on. Okay, I, ma I managed to push it, so we're all good there. Uh, that brings us up to 55,687, which actually is a lot more money than I thought we were going to have. With that being said, we now need to see if my car actually fits in this workbench up here. Because if it doesn't, we either have to make modifications or build a new car. <laughs> Which, I don't know, that would kind of suck, to be honest. Oh, the car actually easily fits. That's good. All right, open this up. Let's jump inside. There we go. We're going to obviously drive the car all the way around the island. And then we're going to do an attack. Awesome. Guy 
anyways, I decided to stop on the way just to check if there are any crates down here at this base. Uh, or at this town. The other thing that I want to do as well is actually go to sleep so that you guys can see what's happening uh, during daytime. Because obviously that makes a lot of sense. Also, you might have seen I did some spins, which was pretty fun. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Uh, well, I do. It gets a little bit wibbly wobbly in this game when you drive, but it's fine. Also, I'm assuming you guys have seen me do this a lot. I have been to this place checking these buildings pretty much every playthrough I do. So, um... Yeah, we're doing it again. We are checking all these buildings yet again. Let's go to sleep, uh, make it daytime, and then we'll check the rest of them. All right, there we go. Daytime already. Beautiful. All right, run to the next one. Let's have a little look in here. Any crates? These are pretty cool buildings. I'm not going to lie. I think, I think they are actually pretty awesome. We'll move to the next one. Sometimes there's actually a crate on the dock, but with how many like tsunamis and rogue waves and stuff we've had, that definitely will have got uh, taken away by now. So, yeah. Never mind. All right, nothing here. Let's go to the uh, the car again, continue down the road, and get to the enemy base. Guys, I don't know what just happened over there, and I, I still don't know what's happening over there. It seems that they are exploding, or something's exploded. I don't know what's happening. There's like fire coming up from there, and there is fire coming up from there. I'm assuming that those are missiles being launched at me uh, that aren't actually managing to get to me because, I don't know, they're bad, I guess. <laughs> so I'm just going to continue in. Uh, you <laughs> Not again! Wow! Okay! Uh, this might have happened to me a few times, as you guys probably seen. Um, yeah, it tips over quite a bit as soon as you touch something. However, it also seems to be indestructible! I've tipped over and, like, done flips with this thing multiple times. And we are okay. Yeah, right, okay, you know what. Let's go ahead and try and aim at this guy real quick. Aim sideways. Oh, that wasn't that wasn't great. All right, there we go. We are, we're just gonna go ahead and pepper this man until uh, we think that that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and say that. I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's fine. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and move in a little bit closer. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get my car off of the railway. Hopefully, I can, but I don't know with the way this is built. I'm unsure. Oh, he was firing missiles at us. It's a proper missile emplacement. All right, let's go ahead and try and like lift our wheels up there. I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this, actually. I don't know if I can. Just try and ram it up. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get up there. We might actually have to go out on foot to attack this enemy base. I'm sure it will be fine. Maybe. Can I change the, um... Yeah! Alright, let's just go ahead and get rid of this. Alright, awesome! There we go, that should explode anytime soon, probably. And we're gonna go in with a uh, gun, I guess. Uh, let's grab two of these. In fact, let's go ahead and grab three. We're gonna grab the weapon from behind us. And some ammunition. And we are ready to attack, let's go! All right, hopefully there isn't actually any enemies down there. <laughs> there might be. There might be a tank or something. I'm going to go ahead and open up this door. Shove a C4 in there. I'm going to run away. And three, two, one. Gone. All right, excellent. Who's next? <gasps> I thought I just put myself in a position I couldn't get out of, but we're good. All right, let's charge. Get to the wall quickly. Sometimes there is a tank around this side. I don't see it, so I'm going to charge forwards. There is an emplacement. That's another missile emplacement that, uh, fortunately, doesn't have anything, um, any sort of ammunition right now. It's gone. All right, who's next? Let's make our way inside. I, oh, it's not actually gone, but it will be. Uh, 
Sometimes there's a tank inside. It doesn't seem to be the case right now. There is a helicopter, but I think we're good. Alright, this has actually gone way better than expected. There are no enemy tanks. Or enemy aircraft, apparently. Because I think that's a civilian. Okay, I'm going to have a quick little look around, see if I can find any crates in here. Steal some of the enemy's money. And then we're going to capture the base, I guess. Not going to lie, this is uh, taking ages. I actually managed to buy some Christmas presents whilst waiting. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think what we'll do is we'll actually capture this. We'll then drive our car to the next place, which is actually Lighthouse OB. See if we can get the car off of the tracks. I don't think that's going to be possible. But we'll then wait there. We'll see if there are any crates. Because I don't think I'll have been here yet. Um, and I guess we'll just pick them up. There we go, captured. So, let's go ahead and head back out of here. I didn't see any crates or anything while I was here, so... Let's just go ahead and leave. Although, why am I lagging? There must be a ship or something nearby. There has to be. Or like a plane? I, I don't... Is it the helicopter? I don't know what it is. Something's making me lag, and that's not good. Alright, so we are cruising towards Lighthouse OB, and we are cruising there with a very low FPS. I'm not sure why. I feel like something must have spawned in somewhere, but I don't see it. So, we'll see what happens once we get there. If there are any enemies, we'll go ahead and try and take them out. Uh, if there are no enemies, then uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and try and go to sleep, because it's currently night time. Uh, I love the uh, the little view that we get out of this, by the way. It's actually pretty cool that we can... We can slowly see out of this. Also, um, our speedo hasn't been working this entire time, but I'm sure that's fine. Whilst we're on our way over here, I wanted to ask you guys a question. What do you guys actually want to see from this series? Do you want to see us try and, I don't know, destroy everything? Should we end the series after a little while? Like, what should we do? Because I'm not entirely sure what I actually want from this. Obviously, the island we just captured, it really didn't take much to capture it. They tried to fire missiles at us, they didn't manage to hit us with any missiles, and then we just walked in and took it. So, is there much of a challenge in this? I have no idea. I feel like a ship battle would actually be pretty cool, but I don't know if that's going to happen, you know? Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys want to see, uh, and I'll see if I can maybe do it. Alright, we are here. Let's go ahead and park up, I guess literally right here. Going to turn the lights off, you guys probably can't see anymore, but that's okay. As long as we can get out, that'd be awesome. There we go. Nice. I don't know if we can get back onto this bridge. I guess we could jump from up there. I don't think it's that... F oh, that is quite a jump. I don't know if we'll make it back up here. Oh, that is interesting. We'll see. I guess. Right. See ya. Alright, let's go inside of the hospital straight away. We are going to go to sleep straight away and just make it daytime so we can actually see. Oh, it's lagging us so hard. That's ridiculous. Uh, I don't see any crates here or anywhere around the bottom. No, so we're going to go check the lighthouse. Hopefully there's a crate in there. Alright, so no, there are no crates inside this lighthouse, but that's okay. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see next, and I'll see if I can do it. But for now, thank you guys very much for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.